Hi everyone, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. Today we have uh, another pick a card for you. This is just, you know, a general reading. Let's just see what our angels have to tell us, what they want to want us to know right now. Before I get started, and before I send out healing, I want to give a big shout out to all of my subscribers. I love you all so very much. I was very fortunate this past weekend to um, do a spiritual night out where I got to meet a couple of my subscribers that I didn't know prior to um, this past weekend. And it was so very exciting for me. I enjoyed it so much. And, you know, they were like, we heard your voice and we knew it was you. And they were so excited to meet me. And I was just as excited to meet them. It, it really was so heartwarming. And, you know, just to know that you might be making a little tiny bit of a difference in this world, you know, help raising the vibrations and stuff. It, it, it's powerful. It, it's powerful. And I loved it so much. So I have a new goal in mind now. I have new inspiration because of these two lovely ladies. I would love to do spiritual night out all over the world, right? So I get to meet more of you. Um, that would be, that would be a dream come true for me to be able to meet more of my subscribers. So help me grow this channel, share it with your friends if you can. Um, let's get, let's get the numbers up. Let's build our community so that we can, um, we could do that and you guys can help make my dream come true because that was just truly, truly amazing. So a big shout out to Emily and Angelina. I love you. I enjoyed meeting you and hopefully I get to meet more of my subscribers because I do love each and every one of you. Okay, enough rambling. Let's get started. You guys know what to do. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth because I'm sending out some Reiki. Here we go. All right, so here's my four piles. We have Raw Appetite, Lapis Lazuli, Amazonite, and Aquamarine. So take a moment. Pick your pile. If you have to, pause the video. The timestamps will be in the description. And uh, you could go right to your pile. So I'm going to get started with pile one. Okay, pile one. If you chose the raw appetite, then this is your reading. I'm going to grab you some angel numbers. Let's see what they say. My Amazon light there. All right, we have... Nine, four, three, two. Nine, four, three, two is your number. I'm just going to put you on pause real quick and write that down. I'll be right back. Okay, pile one. Let's see what we got. We got six of swords. The Empress, the Moon, Seven of Cups, and Temperance. All right, so let's see here. So it looks like you're leaving choppy waters. So if things have been rough right now, don't worry. Things are definitely, you're definitely coming out of it, okay? You're, you're, it's going to be a lot more smoother in the near future. The Empress is here to let you know that you, you need to live passionately, right? That's what she wants to tell you. She just, just love what you do, love who you're with, love each other, love children, your children if you have them. Just, just love yourself most importantly. Now here comes the moon. So the moon usually means that there's something that we're not seeing, um, but, I, you know, I feel like you're a little confused right now, a little unsure. You're trying to figure something out. I trust that over time, more information is going to be revealed, okay? You have a lot of options coming in right now. Seven of Cups is, is choices. It's decision. But patience is, I mean, but temperance is patience. So you just have to be patient right now. Um, I know that's hard. That's a terrible word. I hate it. <laughs> patience is not my strong suit. Um, but you know, everything happens in divine timing. So let's just see what other cards come out for us. Uh, 
All right, we have the Hierophant, the Chariot, Three of Pentacles, and the Tower. Okay. Well, something is going to crumble, okay? We're going to have a Tower moment. So, like I said, you're going to be leaving rough waters eventually. Um, to, it's going to be smoother sailing, but something is definitely going to have to crumble, and it's crumbling for a reason. It's going to make room for, for the new. What need what, you know? It's getting rid of the old, what you don't need anymore, and it's making room for the new. Now you do have, the hierophant here, so that's a spiritual teacher. This is um, I think this is just saying that there's a change that has to be made. You know. And you might be like praying or trying to connect, trying to get your answers. Maybe you're going to ask advice from somebody who might be older and wiser from you. But I, I definitely feel like a choice is coming, okay? Especially with that Seven of Cups up there. Options are coming in for you. Um, the Chariot. This is a, this is a, a, a victory card, so... Things are going to be okay. You will have success. So give yourself that pep talk that you need. You know, put on your armor and go for it. Whatever it is. I'm hearing fake it till you make it. <laughs> so, oh, hang on one second. I forgot to turn that off. Okay, I apologize, Pile One. That was my daughter. So I had to put you on pause for that one. Um, I was saying I was hearing fake it till you make it. So I don't know what that means. If that means that you have to just like put on a smile and a happy face until you get to those um, calm waters. They're coming, okay? So, it, you know, like I said, tower moments happen for a reason. There, there is going to be one happening for you if it hasn't already started or, or um, hasn't happened already. But you're going to be working with somebody. You're, that means that means you're going to get the recognition that you're craving, and um, there's going to be some kind of a collaboration or teamwork or or something. So things are definitely looking up for you. You just have to have a little patience, which is not fun. <laughs> Let's see what else we get here. Adventures. So yeah, adventures are coming in. When, what are we? What's in your way? I had to move some stuff out. Okay. Yeah. So adventures are coming in for you. you you're you're going to have like brand new adventures. They're going to be successful. It's going to make you happy. Um, the chariots here. So that's a good thing. Get ready. I told you you're going to have some options, right? Commitment. There will be a commitment. So for those of you looking at, for love, I feel like there is going to be a, a commitment here. I do, I do feel like that. Um, if it's not love, then it's maybe you're buying a house. Or you're going to be, um, you know, taking on a new job. There might be a contract involved. But there's definitely some kind of commitment coming in for you. And I think it's something that you've been waiting for or... Um, looking forward to right I, I really do feel like it's going to make you happy yeah look journey by moonlight you got the moon card up there and then you got journey by moonlight down here believe in magic you might have been um, you might have lost it a little bit not, not thinking that things are going to you know, happen for you, but it's coming. It's coming. Magic is coming for you. Something, something that you want is really going to happen. I don't know why I keep getting drawn to that adventures card. Um, oh, there goes the ring light. Still haven't figured out what's going on with it. But I, that bird, those birds. I don't know why, but I just they're making me feel very happy. So I do feel like. Something amazing is coming in for you. What does this say? Becoming braver. So yeah, you are getting your courage back. And you are becoming braver. And you are growing stronger. Right? 
you just have to believe and have a little bit of faith that things will work out. A fiery climax approaches. So this is reminding me of the tower card. Okay, so something is is going to come to an end, like I said. Hopefully, it's not that bad and it's all in your highest good. I mean, I know it's for your highest good, but I hope you realize that it's for your highest good because when we go through moments like that, sometimes they're just it's hard for us to see that. Um but you do have you do have other things coming for you. You have things to look forward to. So keep an open mind about it, you know, especially if it's new love. Keep an open mind. The person that's coming in for you might not be your your usual type. They might be a little bit different. Um, but I do see commitment, okay? And if it's not love, just, just keep an open mind about everything, about whatever the situation could be for you, okay? Because you do have commitment coming in. And finally, we have a Metatron card. And your Metatron, Metatron wants you to know, it says mirrors you. Oh, okay. So this is like, in other words, the universe gives you what you think about and what you say. Your words are so powerful. I think I say this a lot. You, we have to be mindful of what we speak because no one sets out and asks for problems or difficulties, right? But yet we think and we speak things and it attracts it to us. So you know, our thoughts are so powerful and I feel like yours with you getting this card, yours are very powerful right now. So you're being reminded to know how powerful your words are because the universe is listening. So if you are projecting that life is hard or unfair or difficult, guess what? The universe is going to give you more of the same. So we need to change the script, right? We need to change our words. We need to be more positive. We need to say everything is working out for us or everything's happening for my highest good, you know, or everything happens in divine timing. I, I, will, ha- I will reach my goals. I, I will, you know, achieve my dreams, whatever, whatever it is. But we have to be more positive. Right now, your words are affecting your life. So, just be mindful of that. Be mindful of what you put out there. All right. Let's uh, let's pull some charms. I haven't done them in a while. So, let's pull them. Let's see what we get. All right. We got... Oh, wait. One stuck to me. It was February. February was stuck to me. So, I don't know if February is going to be an important month or what. But... Look, you got the fairy. Again, believe in magic. Magic is happening for you behind the scenes. You don't see it, but it's coming. You will have a wish come true. That's my shooting star. Okay, step into your power. Know that you are a leader. You know that you um, have the power to make what you make your future a reality. You know, make create our own realities. That's what that is. You have all the tools inside of you to get what you want. Make sure you're reminded of that. I got a football, so today's Sunday. It's football day, right? So most of us are probably watching football, or a lot of us are. Um, maybe you're going to go to a game, or maybe you're going to meet somebody who plays football, or maybe you play football. I don't know. But you have friends, so spend some time with friends. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanksgiving's coming up for those of you in the States. I don't know if other countries celebrate Thanksgiving. I think that's just a, a United States holiday, but... If you do celebrate it, get together with your friends and and celebrate with them. I think it's an important time. I think it's important to be thankful for our friends. Anyway, that is all I have for you, Pile One. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because like I said, I love each and every one of you and I'm so very grateful for you. Thank you so much for that. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 2. If you chose the lapis, then this is going to be your reading. Let me grab you some angel numbers. 
see what we got here. We have nine, three, seven, eight. <gasps> Sorry, I knew I was gonna drop something. Nine, three, seven, eight is our number. And, uh, all right, let's, let me put you on pause real, real quick. I'm going to take this away. Okay. So let's get, uh, your messages. Let's see what, what's coming out for you, pile two. And the ring light's been going out still, but hopefully it'll make it. Let's see. Oh, justice, the empress, temperance. The world and nine of swords. All right, so looks like you might be might have been going through something recently, a little bit of a hard time. Um, something's keeping you up at night. You know, there's something that you're really worried about. But justice is saying that you know your balance will be restored to the situation. You're going to get justice for it, whatever it is. The, the Empress is here to remind you to live life passionately. You know, love what you do. Love who you're with. Love, Just be as passionate as you possibly can. Even though you have to be patient right now. Because a cycle is ending. So something is definitely coming to an end. There will be a new beginning. And that new beginning can be anything that you want it to be. So... It's a, it's a fresh start. It's a clean slate. Maybe not a clean slate, but it's a fresh start. <laughs> um, so let's just see what else is coming in, okay? Yeah, it's time to move on. You're going to be moving on from something. But... It, and it's actually going to be happening pretty quickly. And you have the spiritual strength to get through it, even though change is scary. Um, you know, it, and it might not, not be exactly what we've wanted, but it's definitely, something is definitely ending here. You have a brand new beginning here. The fool came in to say, it's time for a new journey. It's time to take the leap of faith. You're on the right path. You've endured and now you just have to keep on enduring for a little bit more. Have a little bit more patience. Um, but you're definitely moving on from something. Something that's not right for you. You know, maybe it was right for you in the past, but it's not right for you anymore. Let's see what else we get. Trust that there's, oh, I gotta move these cards up. Trust that there's a divine plan. So you just have to have a little bit of faith. I know it's hard. Um, but things have to happen in divine timing because somebody, like if this is a relationship you're moving on from and you're, you want a new one, um, or you don't know why this relationship is ending. Or, you know, it doesn't have to be a relationship, but this is an example. Um, you know, for a new one to come in, you might have to get rid of the old one, right? So for the right one to come in, or the right person for you now, like maybe you've already learned your lessons with the person you were with. And now it's time for you to move on because you have a new lesson to, to learn for, with somebody else. So like I said, I'm feeling like change is really difficult for you, um, but you're okay. You're on the right path. I promise you that. I promise you that. You're on the right path. Things are going to work out. You have, a, you have a chariot. That's a victory. That's a success. Success. <laughs> Taking steps. Yeah, like... Like, like again, this is like, 
there are steps that you have to take. Like it's all right. There are steps you must be ready to take in order to move forward. You know. Um, now's the time to identify what you have to do to accomplish your desires. You know, you might have to try a new approach. It's a good time to like stop and and take stock of where you are and how you got here and what direction you want to go in. You know, it's time to plan your next move. You have to muster up the courage to do it, okay? Um, Because this cycle is ending. So a new one's coming in. You don't have a choice in this matter, I don't think. Solitude. So again, I think this is I think this is kind of like the same message. It's just take time to reassess your own life. You know, where do you want to be? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be with? You know, just... I, uh, I think it's time for you to be on your own right now. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like you need you need to be a little bit more independent right now to... To figure out, like I, I'm, I'm feeling codependency here. Um, you, you can't rely on other people to make you happy. So I think this is this is saying that you really need to figure out what you want and how to get it. You know, if you, you. You, you, we can have whatever we want, we do, but we do also need to take the steps to get them. So listen to yourself, listen to your guides, listen to your intuition. I really do feel like they're guiding you here. Um, sometimes we need to go in solitude to hear them. So uh, dig deep, okay? Get one of these. Use your, t- use your time well. Make every moment count. All right, so I think this is saying that once you figure out what you want and where to go, don't procrastinate. I think your angels are nudging you that it's time to make a move. It's time to move on and go towards your happiness. Go towards your you know, success, whatever that is for you. Communication is the key. So there's somebody you might have to talk to about this. Um, Whatever the situation is for you, you might have to have a conversation. Finances and career are affecting your love life. So either you're afraid you're not going to have, you don't have enough money or somebody else is afraid that they don't have enough money. Um, But yeah, money's playing a big factor in your love life right now. Let's get a Metatron card. Let's see what Archangel Metatron wants to tell us. Of course it's this card. It's the codependency card. I told you that's what I was feeling. Yeah, I I just feel like right now it's time for you to be on your own. I think that you had grown codependent on somebody. And uh, it was comfortable and easy. But now it's time to move on from that. Codependency is, is really toxic. It's not really right. Even though, like, I always say I'm comfortable being codependent. Um, it's not the best for us, though. Okay? We, we shouldn't rely on other people. We should rely on ourselves. So I think it's time for you to dig deep here. I think you need to be a little bit more independent. So figure out what you want. Figure out how to get there. And, uh, 
I think you're, I mean, it's okay to ask friends for help and to lean on other people for support, but it's not okay to have people do things for us. You know, we have to learn and grow. We have to learn to do it ourselves. You know, we teach our, our children to do that. We teach our children how to walk and talk. So, so they could do it on their own. We don't want to do it for them for the rest of our lives, right? So same thing goes in adulthood. We, there are things that we have to learn to do on our own, even if it's comfortable to have somebody else do it for us. <laughs> All right, let's pull some charms. All right, let's see what we got. You have Cupid here. So I, I do feel like there's love in the air or love. There will be love coming in. Um, and I do feel like, you know, something new is about to bloom for you. That's good. There's something growing, right? And you're going to get, the, you're going to see the light soon. I feel like your angels are really going to lay up the path and you'll know what to do and how to do it. You're going to have a home run. It'll be, it'll be fantastic for you. You have the shooting star. So a wish will come true for you. And we have, what is this? Chocolate? Chocolate. So something sweet's about to come in for you. Something nice, something sweet. And this wheel, you have the wheel. So luck is turning in your favor. Okay, pile two, hang in there. It's not so bad. A whole brand new cycle is starting for you. It's a, it's, a, it's a new start. So make the most of it. You got a new adventure beginning. Have fun with it and enjoy life. That's what we're meant to do. We're meant to enjoy it. We're meant to be happy and we're meant to love. So, try and do that. That's all I have for you. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because you know that helps me so much and I appreciate each and every one of you who do that. Thank you. And until next time, love and light. Hi, Pile 3. If you chose the Amazonite, then this is your reading. I'm going to pull you some angel numbers. Let's see what we get. All right, we have eight, six, one, zero. Eight, six, one, zero. I'm just going to write that down real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, pile three, what do we have for you today? Do not fall. I got you. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm done shuffling. I'm done. I'll pull these cards. <laughs> you have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Wands. What is going on? The Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Four Pentacles and three of Swords. Wow, I never had three Knights in a row come out, but you're definitely getting an offer. Make sure that's what you really want. You know, the Knight of Swords comes rushing in pretty fast. It's like the lightning pony, right? That's what Ramble and Mike calls it. The lightning pony. And then the fire pony <laughs> next. So, somebody's definitely coming in to make you an offer. I do feel like you've had heartache in the past. Um, and... Oh, my daughter came home, so the dog's going to bark. But I'm going to push through anyway. But I do apologize for the noise. So I do feel like you do have heartache in the past. And, um, you know, um, um, you might have a hard time getting over it, but you got a brand new offer coming in. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out which one of these knights are, is making the offer. You know, you have one coming in, like, full of ideas, and, you know, He's in love with his own ideas. He thinks the hero of his own story. He's going to come in and sweep you off your feet. He knows exactly what to say. Um, make sure that's exactly who you want. Make sure that's what you want, though. Right? The next white comes in, and he's charming and confident. And I say he, but it could be a she. I'm just, knights are he in the card, so. Um, they're charming and passionate. A little rebellious they could be coming in to light a fire under your butt about something 
I don't know. Now here comes the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady. <laughs> this person is grounded and takes takes their responsibilities very seriously. Um, but, you know, they're financially stable. And uh, they don't cut corners, you know. But this card could be reminding you that you don't have to limit yourself. You can dream big. You can have whatever you want. So I don't know which one you're going to choose, but you're somebody's coming in and looks like you might have options here but you're still holding on to something from the past you're still holding on too tightly and it, i'm sure it has to do with that heartache somebody broke your heart and you know we've all had our hearts broken at one point and if we're that young that we haven't yet prepare yourself because it's coming <laughs> eventually you know, if it's not a romantic partner, then it could be our children who break our hearts or, or, you know, a friend that breaks our hearts. So believe me, there's heartbreak in everybody's life and you're holding on to it, but you got to let it go. You really do. You got to let it go. Let's see what else we get. Okay. I'm going to have to move those cards up, but let me shuffle first. All right, let's move them up. Yeah, look, you got eight of cups here. So that's an emotional loss. So somebody definitely broke your, broke your heart. But you've been working hard. You've been patiently planting the seeds to something beautiful. And you're going to get it. Oh, but there's a devil here. Again, you're chained down to something. Why are you chained? You know, the devil could be just Capricorn energy, but it could also be addictions, right? So you could be chained to addiction, even if it's just codependency or a false belief system. But um, you're chained to something, and, and I think you need to free yourself. I think uh, the Eight of Pentacles is here saying that you, you may have been working hard towards that, freeing yourself from the past, whatever you're holding on to too tightly. Um, hopefully you, you've been working hard to, to move away from it. Okay, let's see what else we get. Leadership. So yes, step into your leadership role. It looks like you're a natural born leader here. And it could be with that knight of wands up there that you're a natural born leader, but... Let's see. It's time to step into the light and take your leadership role. You know, don't hold back. Let the world see your light. If you've been hiding in the background, now it's time to, you know, take a step forward. You know? Go for your dreams. Like I said, dream big. I think that Knight of Pentacles is there telling you that you could dream big. So go for it, right? And be the leader and, and get it. Make your dreams happen. And we got the oh, kindred partners. A new a new partnership's coming in. Absolutely, positively, somebody's coming in for you. Um, it could be a new relationship, or it could be something that's going to be more deep and more caring and more connected. Um, if it's a new one, then it's likely to be a romantic one. You know. So good news I told you you're going to have an offer I'm glad it's a romantic one and yeah not only are they going to be romantic but they're going to be passionate and your life is going to be filled with passion and pleasure so savor it love it enjoy it let go of that devil energy let go of it you don't need it you don't need it. Whatever it is, you don't need it. Investigate. So it just says think before you act. You know, don't don't jump into things. Don't rush. Don't be in a rush for something. Don't make impulsive decisions. Make sure you're taking the time to realize that this is what you truly want. Like, didn't I say that up there with that Knight of Swords? 
you know, make sure that whoever's coming in is not a devil energy and it's something that you want. And it's right for you. Uh, but if they're romantic and, and, and passionate, I, I probably is right for you. Look, a new start is coming. Absolutely a new start is coming. You're going to get over that heartbreak. You will. You're not going to forget it. But you'll, you'll be able to move past it. Look, you're very attractive right now. You got three knights up there. If, if three knights are coming in to make you an offer, like, yeah, hell, you're very attractive right now. So uh, keep doing you. Keep doing what you're doing. All right. So we're getting a Metatron card last. And uh, you got Chakra, our light body. So this is basically saying that you are love and light. You know, you're... You're more than just a human being. You, you're more than you can even imagine, right? You're this beautiful soul. So I, I think this card just wants you to shine brightly right now. Like, don't don't get stuck in any heartache. Don't get stuck in any devil energy. Be love and light. That's what he wants for you right now. Let me pull some charms. Oh, I dropped my bag. It's all. Let me go. Jump down. All right, let's go. Let's see what's coming out. There's gonna be a resolution to something, okay? So that's good. You're on the right path. You're moving in the right direction. You got the compass. Something beautiful is gonna bloom for you, right? Boo, it's gonna, it might even be a surprise. And it looks like you might be traveling. You got the Eiffel Tower. So you might be traveling with this person and who knows if this person is a true romantic, maybe they'll be taking you to Paris. <laughs> That's really cool. So anyway, that is all I have for you, Pile 3. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that really does help me. And you know I love my subscribers. Thank you so much. And until next time, love and light. Hi Pile 4, if you chose the Aquamarine, then this is your reading. Let me uh, grab you some angel numbers. Let's see what we got for you today. The first number you have is zero, so that kind of doesn't count. So seven, five, one. Seven, five, one is your angel number. So I'm just gonna put you on pause real quick so I can write that down. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's see what cards we have for you. All right, let's see. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> Sorry. The Emperor. Judgment. The Hierophant. Ace of Wands. All right, Three of Swords. So you have some heartbreak here. You have some heartbreak and you're learning from your mistakes in the past. It's, you know, the judgment cards here to say that, you know, it's time to reassess, you know. Look what happened in the past and now make some deliberate changes so we don't make the same mistakes again, you know. That the emperor's here saying, you know, this is alpha male energy. This is be the leader you need to be. Okay, step up. The hierophant's here to help guide you. Uh, you could be connecting. You know, you could be praying a lot, um, wondering what to do, how to get over this heartache, whatever it is. Uh, but I really do feel like you're learning from the past. Um, you have a brand new, fiery, passionate beginning coming in for you. You have the Ace of Wands here. So there is a new beginning. And they're calling you to be the leader that you should be. You know, step into that power. You have it in you. Oh, yeah. See, you got heartache again. You got three swords twice. There's a little, your heart is broken right now. 
and I am sorry. I am so sorry. But we all deal with that. We all deal with heartache. You're going to get through it. You're going to have some options. You're going to get the recognition that you want. And it could lead to marriage. Or it could lead... Ugh, hang on. Ghost? What are you getting into? Ghost? Leave my stuff alone. Sorry, pile four. This big old puppy doesn't know what to do. He just... Henri wants to get into things. <laughs> He's a good boy, though. I love him. All right, so let's back to reading. Sorry about this. Okay, so Four of Wands is, is you know, a family celebration. So, and it definitely could be a marriage, especially with the Hierophant, because the Hierophant performs marriages, right? It's our priests, it's our ministers, it's our pastors. Hmm. It's all about tradition. So, you like I said, you have a fiery, passionate new beginning. Your passion is going to be ignited. Um, so you're going to get over this heartache, although I do feel like this heartache is pretty deep. You have the Three of Swords twice. You got to get rid of it. Got to get rid of that heartache. Ah, look, I know that's easier said than done, but we got to get through it. impasse yeah you might be at an impasse it's saying reflect and redirect your energy so we need to refocus again i gotta move you up some more um yeah you have to refocus refocus your energy on something positive and something new whatever this passionate new beginning is that's that's what you got to try and focus on okay even if it's not here yet know that it is and know that you have something to look forward to. Ascended Masters. Yeah, they're helping you. The Ascended Masters are like Jesus, Buddha, you know, somebody who's not a god. Somebody that we look up to. Somebody that we um, pray to. That's who, what an Ascended Master is. And they're here so that means that you have some deep healing coming to you they love you and they support you and um you're going to be able to overcome something why am i getting addiction i don't know what the devil's not here i did see him when i was shuffling so maybe that's why but i'm feeling addictions so if you are struggling with addiction just know that you do have the strength to get overcome this that they are guiding you and they are helping you. Now that, of course, isn't going to be for everybody, but I do, I got it, so I had to say it. And, you know, if it is an addiction thing, then it's, you got the choose wisely card. You have options, so, you know, make sure you are choosing wisely. There's no judgment. Don't judge yourself too harshly. You are going through a transformation right now. Yeah, I mean, and if it has nothing to do with addiction, um, I'm sure most of you that you're it's not. But this heartache is causing a transformation. You're becoming somebody new, somebody stronger, right? Judgment is here, so that means that you've learned from the past. You've learned from past mistakes. You know, the higher fits here, guiding you and loving you and supporting you with the with the ascended masters. That's some strong healing. So you are definitely going to be transformed. The changes are definitely being made. Clock. Time, pressure, and a rush. Okay, so if you are feeling um, under the gun or like time's running out, that is not true. I'm telling you right now, everything happens in divine timing. So sometimes things aren't ready for us. Um, it could depend on other people, you know. So you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Your ascended masters are here working with you. So time is not running out for you. 
It may feel like it, but it's not. Ghost, I don't know what you're into, but you better get out of my stuff. Believe in the impossible. He's eating something. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> it's only one of his toys. <laughs> so he can eat that. Um, believe in the impossible. Miracles are about to happen. I just feel like you're on this verge of this brand new beginning. It's fiery. It's passionate. It's going to light the fire inside of you. You're transforming. So why not believe in miracles? They can happen. Oh, I just dropped a whole bunch of cards. But the one I wanted is in my lap. Um, it's children. Children are fact affecting your love life. So I don't know if you have children or the person you're thinking about has children. Or, you know, some of you could be getting pregnant. So, some way, somehow, children are affecting your love life. Take it how, how it resonates for you. There's so many possibilities with that. All right, let's get a, a Metatron card. Let's see what Metatron wants to tell you. This is the Tree of Life. It says travel on. So... This card is all about like knowing that life is a journey, right? It's a it's a journey from spirit to being human and then from being human back to spirit. So we have so much to learn and grow here and if sometimes we feel stuck, you know, and you know wherever you are on your journey you're where you're supposed to be you're learning and you're exploring and there's no path that you missed you know all all roads converge back to the same point you know there's no wrong turns there's just different approaches to the same direction so the trick is to enjoy this journey that we're here, that we're on, and that we're, because we're learning. Even if the experiences are hard, even the lessons are hard, we're learning and we're supposed to learn and we're supposed to grow. Pain comes from growth. I mean, growth comes from pain. So, you know, if we didn't go through heartache, we wouldn't be able to grow. We just wouldn't. So whatever journey you're on, you're doing okay. And all is as it should be. So just keep going. Keep going. Because you're on the right path. And that's what Metatron wanted to tell you. All right, let's get some... Let's get some charms. Let's see what the charms say. All right, so you got the hot air balloon. So that's that's telling you to try to see things from a different perspective, you know? Try to see the bigger picture. When we're up in a hot air balloon, we can see for miles. But when we're down on the ground, we only see what's right in front of us. So try to see the bigger picture. You're going to be okay. You are transforming. Um, you have the UNO card. So for me, that means, you know, try not to play games. Don't let people play games with you and don't play games with other people, especially with people's hearts. Okay, you do have a, a fashion... A new passionate beginning coming in. So hopefully that means it's love and it's going to be wonderful and it's going to be amazing. You do have a party or a celebration that you might be going to. Could be a wedding. Like I said with the Hierophant here and the Four of Wands, that party could be a wedding. And uh, you have candy. You, ha you have candy and finally you have the gingerbread person. So I just feel like that's something sweet happening for you. I feel like you're going to get rewarded for this heartache, for this pain that you've gone through. I think you're going to be happy. I think something good is coming. You just got to hang in there and wait for it. You know, things are happening. You're not running out of time. So anyway, Pile 4, that is all I have for you. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because you know that helps me and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much. I love you all. 
And until next time, love and light.